cholesterol. High cholesterol is no joke. It can greaten your risk of heart disease, restrict your blood flow, and even lead to a stroke. Over 70 million Americans have high blood pressure, so what can we do about it? Well, there's always medicine. Drugs like Lipitor can lower your cholesterol. But did you know that foods can do the same? Yeah, food. Here are some delicious foods that also lower your cholesterol. Salmon. Why is salmon so healthy? Three words, er, two words, and a number. Omega-3 fats. Omega-3 fats lower cholesterol, as well as benefit your body in about a million different ways. So grab the fishing pole, because we're going to be eating salmon tonight. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is a sweet, sweet treat that can have huge, huge benefits. Not only does it lower the bad LDL cholesterol, it can actually heighten the good HDL cholesterol. Just make sure that the chocolate you're eating is at least 70% cocoa. So, you know, maybe skip that white chocolate. Pumpkin. The pumpkin is not just for those who are basic anymore. Compounds from the pumpkin can lower LDL cholesterol. So make yourself a delicious pumpkin smoothie. Real pumpkin, not just pumpkin spiced whatever. Nuts. A handful of nuts is a great way to lower your cholesterol. Walnuts, almonds, hazelnuts, peanuts, pistachio, pecans, and some pine nuts are all great for lowering your cholesterol. Just don't overdo it because nuts are very high in calories. Beans. Beans are very rich in soluble fiber, a fiber that lowers cholesterol. Eating a cup of beans every day can lower your cholesterol by up to 10% in less than two months. Any type of beans work, but kidney, navy, pinto, black, chickpea, and butter beans are particularly good. Oats. Speaking of soluble fiber, oats are bursting with it. A cup and a half of oatmeal to start off your day will give you six grams of fiber, greatly reducing your LDL cholesterol levels. So listen to my man Wilford Brimley and eat your oats. Green tea. Is there anything green tea can't do? Green tea can have a significant effect on lowering your LDL cholesterol. Unfortunately, to get the best results, you need to drink 10 cups a day. So start brewing. You've got a lot of hard work ahead of you. Garlic. Garlic has many amazing medical benefits. It can prevent blood clots, reduce infections, and you guessed it, lower blood pressure. If you want all of its health benefits, try to get in between two to four fresh cloves a day. Just make sure to carry some mints around because that stuff gets smelly. Soy. Soy can actually lower cholesterol. The reason being is that it contains compounds called isoflavones, which lower your LDL cholesterol levels. So eat your tofu, drink your soy milk, and have some soy nuts. 25 grams of soy protein per day should do the trick. Look, you're a hipster now. Apples. An apple a day keeps the cholesterol low. Not only do apples contain soluble fiber, they also have polyphenols, an antioxidant that can lower cholesterol. You can get the benefits of polyphenols from both apples and apple juice. But you're not a child, so go for the real thing instead. Avocado. Ah, yes, the beautiful, delicious avocado can actually lower your cholesterol. Avocados are high in monosaturated fats, which are great for the heart, and avocados can help improve one's lipid profiles, which in turn can reduce LDL cholesterol levels. So bust out the guac because we're going to have a low cholesterol party. Wine. Yes, good old mommy juice can actually lower cholesterol. Alcohol raises HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol, by 5 to 15% and wine contains polyphenol antioxidants, which lower the LDL levels. Unfortunately for Grigio lovers, only red wine has the polyphenol antioxidants, so it might be time to switch to cab. Strawberries. Strawberries can be a sweet trick to lowering those LDL levels. Strawberries activate a protein in the body called NRF2, which in turn lowers your cholesterol levels. But you're really gonna need to like strawberries for this to work. You need to eat two to three cups a day to reap all the benefits. Sardines. Sardines, much like salmon, contain omega-3 fatty acids. Also, due to their small size and vegetarian diet, there's much less risk for mercury poisoning. So open that can and start munching. Or if you're not the biggest fan of plain sardines, try one of these delicious recipes.